I'm Dave Calderwood, news editor of Flyer magazine. Now, I don't know about you, but I like riding motorcycles and driving cars, as well as flying aircraft. The trouble is, that's three different vehicles. Well, it was until the PAL V came along. Now, PAL-V intended to have the public launch of the final production version this spring, but then do you know what came along? So we put in a video call to Robert Dangermanse, the Dutch company's founder, CEO, and, uh, well, driving force. The PAL-V is a vehicle which can drive and fly, so you have both possibilities. Driving, it's a, a sportive two-seater sports car. You can change it in three minutes to something which flies and then it flies like a gyroplane which is one of the easiest and safest way of flying there is as long as the pavement is a bit flat can be grass can be uh, tarmac uh, you need about 250 meters for takeoff you can take off but of course the law only allows you to take off at designated places it's tilting in the corners to make it even stabler in the corners so it feels like a bit like flying while you're driving and we fly it's a dry gyroplane and actually a gyroplane combines the fun of flying it's very safe it's very agile and so it gives you a lot of possibilities to really go with your vehicle from door to door which no aircraft can so it's really a solution uh, which we don't have nowadays uh, and it makes aviation a far better solution for mobility than it used to be until now Of course, building the first flying car in the world is not easy. So it takes time, 
it takes breakthroughs in technology. So the big breakthrough is this tilting technology because a good plane is a three-wheeler. You land on one axis, you have a free casting front wheel. While a good car is a four-wheeler. So to keep a folded airplane stable on the road, we needed this tilting technology, which was actually a Dutch invention by a company called Carver. So we integrated their technology and took it to the next level uh, to make it lighter and even safer for an aviation solution. Nice. Well, the other breakthroughs are that you need to fold something into a compact car. We are really compact, four by two meters, so a compact sports car. But to do that, you need to be able to fold your tail, to fold your rotor system. Uh, and we have mastered this also and have patented all the solutions. Anything in life, you have to learn how to do it safely. So that also goes about flying. Mm -hmm. So a pilot license on a gyroplane is the easiest and safest license you can get. But of course, you need training. And uh, we have provided with a good training team that you can do that in the most effective, but also most joyful way uh, with our Fly Drive Academies. At the moment, the plan is to start delivery in the course of next year. So the vehicle we had ready for Geneva, which unfortunately didn't uh, go through, was the first out of production. But like in aviation, you not only have to certify a vehicle, you're also certifying your design organization, you're certifying your supply chain, you're certifying the whole assembly plant we have available at the moment. So doing all this work and then also doing all the, the official tests now on the produced vehicle will still take about 18 months. And the first 90 we call the Pioneer Edition, so they are recognizable, they have a certain specific characteristics which are really unique. Uh, there are only 90 made in the world and more than half of them are already sold. Yeah. They're after the sports edition and the sports edition is the regular version, which also people reserve. So we have also many of them already reserved. Corona being there, we expect to be at the Salon Privé in September. So uh, yeah. if people want to see it and will it see it operational, let them book that in their agenda. I think it's the 3rd of September, Salon Privé, mm -hmm. uh, and we welcome everybody. Okay. And we, in the meantime, we, of course, give updates uh, through our channels so people can register at our website and our YouTube channel. So uh, stay posted. Thank you, Robert. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs>